Hey everybody, this is Chad Perkins from MoviesAndComputers.com. Now, screenwriting is kind of like a new obsession for me. I love it, and I recently finished my first full-length screenplay, and I wrote it in Final Draft, as you can see here. And I honestly loved it. I, I love Final Draft. I love working with it. But when it came time to rewrite it, I find I uh, found Final Draft to be a little lacking in some things that I wanted. I wanted to write more detailed character biographies, and I also wanted to be able to collaborate more with uh, my writing partner. But I, I found that Final Draft didn't really have these as much, or at least those features weren't really all that great. And then I discovered a phenomenal tool called Adobe Story. It's currently free, and I paid like several hundred bucks for Final Draft. And so what I want to do is I want to take a little mini video series here in this tutorial and a few to follow and cover a little bit about Adobe Story. Now there's actually going to be four parts here. In part one, I'm going to show you how to get started with it because it's not a standard application. Part two, I'm going to show you how to write in it and also to import any work that you have from other applications such as Final Draft. In part three, I'm going to show you the amazing pre-production tools that come in Adobe Story. And in part four, I'm going to show you how Adobe Story can be used in a post-production workflow and actually in a production workflow as well that includes Adobe production and post-production tools such as on location and then onto Premiere Pro. So as I mentioned, Adobe Story is a web application. You get there by going to story.adobe.com. You can see it comes in several languages, uh, German, French, Spanish, Italian, and English. And so what you need to do is uh, sign in with an Adobe ID. If you don't have one, click the sign up button. Again, it's totally free. Now, when you first get here, I'm actually gonna click this little home icon. You'll be at this home page. And there's actually a desktop application too. So if you wanted it to work like on an airplane or something like that where you don't have online connectivity, you could just install the desktop app and then you could work on the desktop app. And then the next time you go online, it'll automatically sync up with the online stuff. Now, just to keep this a little cleaner, I'm just gonna click this full screen button in the upper right hand corner to make this full screen much cleaner. We also notice while we're here that Adobe Story is very friendly. It says, hi, Chad. I'm not sure why it says that, but it's kind of sweet. I'm going to go over to the Projects button, click on Projects, and here's where we do the bulk of the magic. We could go over to this uh, Projects dropdown and click on New Project. Now, this doesn't make a new screenplay. This makes an entirely new project. So I have one for each of the movies that I'm working on. So uh, let's say, for example, Monday the 16th is a short film that I did. And so I have Monday the 16th here in my projects. And by the way, these are categories here. So under the projects dropdown, you could also create a new category uh, because I've, I have a lot of writing partners and I have different projects going on with them. And so it makes it really convenient that I can put these different projects in. Um, it shows me all my projects and all projects. But then I also see the different projects that I have going on with individual people uh, down there. Just a really a clean way to do things. So again, once I have a project created, then I can click on the project on the left-hand side, and then I have all of the stuff that's related to that project uh, right here on the right-hand side. So I could have scripts, but I could also have character bios, I could have uh, web links. Uh, for example, I have like this fledgling idea uh, about the serial killer movie that I've been working on with uh, a friend of mine. And so we're doing a lot of research on ser serial killers. We just started off at Wikipedia. So, um, so we could put the links uh, right here in the links area. And then now anytime we come here to our uh, Adobe Story stuff, we have that link that we could just click on and uh, use it as research there. Now I keep on saying we, and that's really part of the magic of Adobe Story is that it's so easy to collaborate on anything. Uh, with most documents, you'll put your cursor over and there's a little arrow right here and I could click and I could choose share and then I could share this document with other authors and we could work on it together. We'll talk about that in a later tutorial in the series, but just be aware that that is one of the key features of Adobe Story. Now, one last thing I wanna show you in this movie is if we click this new button, then we get uh, all kinds of stuff. We could obviously create a new uh, screenplay, but what I could do also is that I could create all this other kind of stuff. I could have a document just for my log line or just for my pitch or when I do meetings, often I just do a research document, character bios, et cetera, et cetera. So all this stuff is available to you and you, Adobe Story keeps it in one nice convenient location. So you can just go through all this stuff at your leisure. You don't have to like look for the sticky notes and the index cards and everything else that you have going on on your desk. It's all here online 
and you don't have to worry about uh, losing it or um, trying to share it with somebody else because they could just come here and you can collaborate together on this as well. And that concludes our introductory look at Adobe Story. And in the next move, what we're going to do is we're going to look at actually writing, how to write the screenplay in Adobe Story. And you'll see how uh, almost exactly like Final Draft it is with a few extra bells and whistles. So again, on behalf of MoviesAndComputers.com, I am Chad Perkins. Thank you so much for watching.